In this tutorial, we will see how to create a fin plate connection in detail. Fin plates connections are probably the most common, simple and cost-effective steel work connection. It does not have the stiffness to transfer any moments, so it can also named as pin connection. Fin plates transfer only shear force and axial force because the connection is on the web, not on the flanges. Essentially, what fin plates are, is if you're trying to connect a beam to column, you basically have a plate welded to the column and bolted to the beam. You can also make the connection only with welding, without using any bolts. If you have a column and a beam like in the screen, you can easily connect them with a fin plate connection in Idea Statica. To do this, click on Operation and select this one, Fin Plate, Beam to Beam or Column. If you cannot understand exactly which image belongs to which connection, the name of that connection will appear when you hold the mouse cursor on it. If you select it, the software will automatically generate the connection between the beam and the column. We can modify all the parameters belong to this fin plate connection by using the window at the right. Member, member part and connected to lines should correspond to the beam, the web and the column respectively. Sometimes you can change these but commonly, Idea Statica provides you the most logical choice. You can change the material of the plate from the material plus icon and thickness by the line below. If you rotate the model, you will see the plate is on one side. Change the location rear from front, and the plate will be on the other side. As I said before, you can change the connection type from bolted to welded, and as you can see, the bolts are removed from the beam, then we have a welded beam. The gap represents the horizontal distance between the column and the beam. Let's rotate the model using the navigator cube to see it clearer. Then make the gap 15, and see the change. Dimensions is the method of plate geometry definition. If you select center line, you can see all the vertical dimensions but, if you select top of steel, vertical dimensions will appear up to the lower level of the plate. Moreover, in the center line option, you can adjust the overlapping part of the plate and beam, and a few other similar dimensions. In the top of steel option, you can only change the position of the plate relative to the beam's upper elevation. We know that we can easily change the diameter and the grade of the bolt by the type line. Differently, there are transverse and longitudinal options here. Transverse is for rows and longitudinal is for columns, in terms of bolts. If you write here in transverse for example 0, 100 and 200 with semicolons, all these values are measured concerning point 0, that is, the center of the plate. If you remove semicolons, each distance is measured by reference to the former bolt, not the center. Longitudinal works the same as transverse, except that it is horizontal. Lastly, in relation to the bolts, I have the same field we have seen before. The shear plane and thread, which is to specify if I want a shear plane of the bolt to be in the threaded or unthreaded part. And the shear force transfer. We have two options as bearing, tension slash shear interaction and friction here. In brief, if you're using preloaded bolts, this choice should be friction.